This video is our long version for taking a fluorescent U-bend fixture and converting it to LED. This extended video goes into details of the universal LED tube and its use. There is a separate short video on the simple conversion from a fluorescent to a double-ended LED for U-bend fixtures. You can find this video in the notes below. I'm going to go over with you our overview of our new U-bend fluorescent to LED conversion and we have a new lamp and we're very excited about it. So let's get right to it. Uh, th this is our new lamp and you can see it comes frosted in 4000K and 5000K right now. We hope to be adding a clear to this, um, but it's just not out yet at the time that we made this video. So that should be coming. We'll have to see if they really do it. So what's great about this lamp is you can use it in your existing fixture with the ballast that's already in there, as long as your ballast is a T8 ballast. If it's a T12 ballast, all bets are off. We'll talk about that in a minute. So you can use it with your existing ballast. Now, at some point, your ballast will fail. It's just a matter of time. But with our new lamp, you don't have to throw away the lamp, but you will bypass the ballast. And we're gonna show you how easy that is. In fact, if it's me, I just bypass the ballast right now, do it all at once, put the new lamp in, and make it go. Now, it's also important to note that if you bought from us or from someone else a single-ended LED tube retrofit for your fixture, and it's the single-ended type, you can use the same tube. Or if you've already set up your light fixture for the dual-end fed LED tube, it'll work in there too. And that's the retrofit we're gonna look at today. Now, real quick, we do have all the drawings on our website but I just wanted to very quickly go through them right now. And of course, you can stop the video and look a little closer. So here's the drawing for the ballast and using this tube. And it's simple. You don't really change any of the wiring or change anything. You're just going to put the tube in. But we thought we'd give you a little quick drawing. Second, the drawing for single end fed LED retrofit tubes. And you can see it uses a non-shunted tombstone or socket and hot is on one side and neutral on the other. And here's a little drawing that kind of shows how that one works. That can be found on our website also. And third, the dual and fed LED retrofit. And this is where we're using a shunted socket. Um, it's part of our kit. Each socket has either a white or a black wire coming to the socket, not both, just one or the other, hot or neutral. And we're gonna show you how that works and how to put them in. But for now, here's a quick drawing of that. So I want to give you a, just a really quick fixture tour and make some comments as I go. So of course we remove the cover of the light fixture. And the covers, there's usually two types. There's one with a lens and there's one that looks like a big egg crate. And you usually see the egg crate ones in offices and they're a little newer. And there's the ones with the, uh, the, the, the plexiglass brittle cover. And if you're looking for the covers, we have seen the covers well, not the whole cover, not the frame, but the, the plexiglass at Home Depot um, in their lighting section. We do see them in there sometimes. So let's go over the light fixture a little bit. I'm going to point out a few things. So this light fixture, like most of them that we're going to retrofit, has a, a ballast here in the middle. And this ballast is a T8 ballast. And I said a few minutes ago, this lamp will work with that ballast. But if your ballast is a T12 ballast, it won't and that ballast will be removed during this process. So T12 won't work. Now, we get a lot of questions on the tombstones. Here's one here in my hand. Tombstones don't care if it's a T12 or a T8 bulb. The pin spacing is the same for both. Back to the fixture. Our fixture has these little clips and that holds the top of the U-bend uh, tube. Now, if you have an old fixture with the T12 in it, you're gonna have to change the clips also. T12s are old. If your fixture is a T8 fixture, and it says right on the bulb, and it'll say on the ballast if it's a T8, your clips are going to be fine. You can leave them in there. So if you're retrofitting and you need a clip, look for that option on our checkout page when you buy our little kit to do this with. Also, some fixtures will have a disconnect in them. This is a safety feature in some of the newer fixtures. You can just pull this apart and safely take your fixture offline uh, from the power. Now, safety first. We like to remove that. We like to shut off the circuit breaker. It's really about safety. And if you're not comfortable, and we always recommend anyway, you know, a licensed electrician can do this fixture retrofit in less than five minutes. 
really might be worth the time. So going through the fixture a little more, you can see coming into the fixture are three wires, a black, a white, and a green. The green one's ground. Green always goes to the light fixture to ground the fixture. You must have a green and it must be connected for safety. The black is hot and the white is neutral. In a few minutes, we're gonna be looking at that a little closer. Also in this fixture are the tombstones or sockets as some call them. And they're here in this metal, oh, I guess we'll call it a, a bar um, that goes across your light fixture. And the uh, bar will have four sockets in it. And this is where you took your fluorescent tubes out of. They're push-in sockets, whereas the bulb just snaps into them. You don't have to twist it or do anything. You couldn't anyway. And the bar going across holds these in place, and there's usually a screw somewhere at one end or the other. And if you unscrew that, this whole bar will come out of the light fixture, sockets, wiring, and everything. It's really not connected in normal cases in the heavy-duty way. It'll just pop out. So we wanted to show you all this. We wanted to mention all of the components that are inside of the light fixture. And if you have any questions, open up your light fixture, remove the cover that's over the ballast, like we did today, Show us everything that you can see and uh, we'll give you some feedback. So now it's time to take some action. Well, the first thing we want to look at is where does the power come in the light fixture? And if there's wire nuts on your white and black uh, it's and the power's off, you can take your wire nuts off now and pull those away. And the next thing we need to look at is we're going to replace all the ballast and all the wiring. So it's all going to come out. To take the ballast out, there's a nut on one end. If you take the nut off and slide the uh, transformer away from the housing, it'll come off in your hand. The sockets in the socket plate come off in the pretty same way. There's a little nut usually on one or maybe two ends. If you remove the nut, you can take the entire socket plate and all the sockets out of the fixture. And now your fixture should look like this inside, completely empty. We're gonna get into a lot of detail right now, but if you still have questions about your light fixture, Open up your fixture, take out all the bulbs, take the cover off where the ballast is, and take a photograph of the guts, the wiring, the ballast, try to separate it so we can see up inside. So let's get to the installation. You wanna put our sockets, the ones supplied here in our kit, into your socket plate, and they just slide in. It's real simple. They don't lock in necessarily or have some special mechanism. They just slide in so they can slide out. So you gotta keep them in. The kit that we send you has two sockets with black wires and two sockets with white wires. So two with hot and two with neutral. Install them as we have them right here in this plate. So it's one, 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 one across here and you can see how we have it. So the light bulb is gonna get a white wire and a black wire, one on each end. That's why we call it the dual end. So once you got the plate in and it's all set up, make sure the wires aren't pinched. You don't want pinched wires and you don't want anything causing a problem later. Then very simply, we're going to connect all the black wires into this little quick connector. So all the black wires in the fixture, all the hot wires get joined together. So the hot wires from our our sockets and the hot wire coming into the light fixture that's supplying power all get connected with this little port. Now, don't panic. You're not going to fill all the holes in this little connector. It's going to be okay. We use one connector for everything. It just makes it simple for everybody in the field. Now, once you get all the black wires connected, make sure you connect all the white wires with a separate connector. So one connector gets all the black wires and the other connector gets all the white wires. And that's as easy as it can be. It's easy and simple to wire it. It's wired, you're done. Now, put a label on the cover where the ballast was. Make sure you get a label there so people know in the future that this light fixture has been converted to a double end LED uh, tube. And they won't get all confused and try to put fluorescent light fixture or light bulbs in there. Now, all you need to do is cover up all the wires, tuck them underneath, make sure they're not pinched and you're kind of ready for the next step. All right, this is the last part to the conversion and probably the easiest, but you gotta pay a little attention. So we're gonna put our U-bend tubes in the fixture now. And the U-bend tubes have an up and a down. Inside the U-bend tube is a little piece of tape with a whole bunch of LEDs on it that run down the inside of the tube, 
on one side. So if you put your tube in upside down, all the light's gonna be facing up into the reflector. Not very efficient. And you'll see it right away and it's not a big deal. And you can see here in this picture, one's up and one's down. A little hard to see, but like I said, when you turn it on, you'll know. So just take the tube back out, turn it around, snap it in place, and you're ready to go. And before you put your cover on, why not power it up? Make sure everything's working. We did here because everybody always asks us to power it up. And here's what it looks like when it's on. When you're done with that, put your cover back on your light fixture. Um, make sure everything's good up there and you're done. Should take about five minutes to do the whole process. Thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions on our products, please feel free to ask us. Use this email address for quick communication. Support at TotalLightingSupply.com We answer product questions all day long, Monday through Friday. However, if you ask questions on YouTube, it may be some time before we see it. Our videos are designed as an overview of our products, and we recommend hiring a qualified electrician for your project to ensure a safe installation. And as always, see the description for links to our website. See the product description on our website for important details, as well as updates and specifications. Also, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any new product information. We offer information such as this video and a level of service you will not find anywhere else. Consider using us for your project needs. All of us at Total Lighting Supply hope to hear from you soon.